guys, it's your girl Kat here back to share some additional knowledge with you. So um, the question today is, when do you know to walk away? So I've had to walk away from people, friendships, relationships, jobs. Um, when do you know when it's time to walk away? And so my advice to someone who asked this question is, anytime something no longer serves you, then you need to just walk away. Anytime something no longer serves you, then you need to just walk away. Let me give you an example. So if you're friends with someone and you've been friends with someone for 20 years, but that relationship is no longer healthy, it's more toxic or it's causing you stress or anxiety, it's time to walk away. If you've been on a job for 10 years and you're getting nothing but you know rejections from promotions or you're having a hard time growing at your job, it's probably time to walk away. I think a lot of times people will stay in situations or circumstances just because they it's familiar and they've been there for a long time or they know that thing or place or person. But sometimes it's better to walk away for your sanity, for your um, health, for your good. You know, sometimes I believe that people come into our life for a reason and a season and it's okay. I've lost friends over the years. The friends I had in high school are not the same friends that I have now in my 40s or vice versa. The friends that are that, that I had in my 20s are not the same friends that I had in my, that I have now. So, and then I have new friends coming and going. So, you know, it's, it's time to walk away when, like I said, it, it, that thing or that person no longer serves your best interest. And so when people do things that are out of character or they do things to you, maybe they've talked about you behind your back or they've done something to you that's malicious, it's time to walk away, guys. Um, people are who they are and they show you who they are. And so when people do things that hurt you or something to hurt you, it's time to walk away. It's And it's okay to walk away. It's okay to say, you know what? I can't be in this toxic, unhealthy environment, so I'm going to remove myself. And let me give you a word of advice. Sometimes God tells us to move and we don't move. Let me say it again. Sometimes, sometimes God gives us signs and he tells us to move and we don't move. And we were stubborn and we're like, oh no, God, that's, we, we brush things off. We brush it off. We brush signs off. We brush God telling us to leave that, that thing or that person or that situation alone. We brush it off. We're like, ah. And sometimes when God tells you to move and you don't move when he says move, he'll give you a pass. But when it's time for you to break away, you're not going to like the way he moves you. He's going to move you and you're not going to like it. And you're going to cause yourself a lot of headache and a lot of heartache because you're like, oh my God, why did you allow this thing to happen? Or why did this happen to me? When all along, if you look back at the signs, God was telling you, you need to move. So we cause ourselves undue stress a lot of times when we don't move out of situations. And, and this is something that I've had to learn and grow and talk about and think about all throughout my life. I mean, this is not a lesson I just woke up and got, you know, this is something that I had to get because I had to go through things and grow through things to get to this point in my life when I just walk away from things that no longer serve me rather than trying to repair or fix. I just say, you know what, this is no longer serving to me in my life and it doesn't it, it doesn't align with my life's path and it doesn't align with what, God, what, with what God has for me. So it's time for me to just remove myself from this situation and I gotta walk away. So that's my take on it guys. And um, I hope that you, if you are in a situation where you need to walk away, that you read the signs and you really um, don't ignore them when they're presented to you. Because like I said, when they present to you, it's time for you to move. And if you don't move, there will come a point where you'll get hurt. And God's telling you all along, I told you to move, but you didn't want to listen. You wanted to follow your own advice. So let's not make our lives harder. Let's work hard. Let's not work harder. Let's work smarter in life. And let's make life a little easier. It's already as hard as it can be. And so we don't need to be any harder. So that's just my word of advice for today. All right. Thanks, guys.